So I'm Rachel Clark, um, the founder of Sugar Blooms. Uh, Sugar Blooms is a foundation that I started two years ago um, on the anniversary of my mom's death uh, when she passed away um, after that very first month on the 23rd of the month, I was having a really hard time. Um, and I just thought, I've, I've got to shake this off. I've got to do something to make myself uh, not be so sad because I know my mom wouldn't want that. And I decided to do something in her memory, which was to take a, uh, a flower, which ended up being an orchid and a note to my mom's oncologist and asked her to give it to someone who was maybe having a hard time. I remembered that feeling that you get sitting in waiting rooms uh, when you're waiting for a diagnosis. And it's a really awful feeling. And I, I actually found that feeling the morning I woke up missing my mom. I was like, this feels so familiar. I, I, I can't, I wanna crawl out of my skin. And then I thought there's someone sitting in a waiting room waiting for news. Um, that wants to crawl out of their skin. And how can I help alleviate that feeling? So I brought in the orchid and, and I heard from the first recipient. I never met them and they sent me an email and I just kept doing it. So for 24 months now, we've been doing this and it seemed to sort of take on a life of its own and I started with Florida Cancer Specialist, which is where my mom was a patient. And then Cleveland Clinic called me and asked if I could start doing it at their facility. So Cleveland Clinic has been sponsoring 20 orchids a month. Um, I've had friends and family and even strangers offer to donate. Uh, so we, we started making it kind of a, a bigger movement. And now on the 23rd of January, we call it National Sugar Bloom Day. In the first year we did 86 orchids and this year we're gonna do 200. So I found Beth really by coincidence. I happened to be on social media and someone was asking if people had things to donate for a charity auction. And I saw that a woman named Beth Fleming had responded, oh, I could do orchids. So I clicked on her name and, and started research searching her. So I sent her a message and just told her what I was doing and said, I want to do, uh, find a local grower and would she be interested? And so she wrote back and said that um, she had lost her dad. Um, he had had cancer. So this was a cause that was really near and dear to her heart. So she was so kind. She gives me the orchids at cost. Um, she's worked with her pot vendors and they give me the pots at cost. So we're able to keep the overhead really, really low on the orchids. And she and I have just kind of, over the past few months, well, I guess it's been a year and a half now, um, had a really nice relationship. So we plan which orchids we're gonna do and what color and how big. And um, she's just been such a blessing. And I love that we're able to keep the orchids local. like the that we're buying from a local grower and we're supporting the local economy and um, this just makes it seem more special. In this last year, we've collaborated with the local elementary schools and they've written notes to oncology patients. So we call that our Junior Blooms program, which is pretty amazing to see the kids be able to connect to something that's hard and to empathize and to put themselves in the position of um, the patient. And they wrote some really beautiful notes and I think it's, really cathartic and it's very healing for the patients and for the kids. So a few months after I started bringing in the first orchid, I ran into my mom's oncologist, Dr. Beyer, and 
actually in the parking lot at Fresh Market. And we started chatting and she told me how much the Sugar Bloom program meant to her office. She said it was really changing just the vibe of her office, that she felt like the staff was becoming more compassionate, that um, they were all fighting over who got to deliver the orchid, that they had fun going through the schedule thinking, you know, who really needs this this week. And so not only was it having an impact on the patients, it was also having an impact on her and her staff. And so that day she, she said, I want to donate. And she actually was the first person who actually donated to the program um, that wasn't my friend or family. <laughs> um, the, the other kind of cool thing about chatting with her is I'd heard from some of the patients, sometimes they'll email me because they don't ever meet them. Um, and she was telling me the reactions that they have. She said they always cry um, and they're always just so grateful and thankful that someone who they don't know is thinking about them on those hard days. Um, since then, I have met a few of the patients. We've had lunch together. Um, we check in with each other. Um, so I'm learning about their families. And it, it's just a really beautiful experience to hear that, you know, a very small gesture that maybe takes me 30 seconds um, is really helping to change someone's path. So for the future of Sugar Blooms, we're hoping to keep growing it. I'd like to grow it outside of Vero Beach. It's such an easy concept, um, and I think it's such an important thing to do for a patient's mental health. I mean, any hospital can do it, any doctor's office can do it, uh, any person can do it. So really what National Sugar Bloom Day is about is not about me bringing orchids or even me honoring my mom. I mean, that, that was the sort of the catalyst, I guess you would say, to kind of get me moving. And she's definitely with me every step of the way. But what I envision is on that day, people thinking uh, about a loved one or maybe even a stranger and saying, how can I help them? What could I do that would be a kind gesture to lift somebody else up. It can be a note, it can be a plant, it can be a call, you can pay for somebody's coffee. So it really can be anything. So for me, the sugar bloom is the orchid and the note and the gesture to a stranger, um, but it can be anything you want it to be as long as you're acting from your heart and you're kind and you're authentic. So my name is Jill. I'm a nurse with Dr. Awamalo at the Scully Welch Cancer Center. And we participate in the Sugar Bloom program where we give these beautiful orchids to patients who are new to our facility who have cancer diagnoses. And we give them with a card that's signed by the providers and the care team and administration to say how grateful we are for them choosing us to be a part of their care. Sugar Bloom has been impactful for our patients as it's something that we're able to just let them know that we're here for them when they have a new cancer diagnosis or if they've been in distress, we've been able to identify some patients and just do a random act of kindness and it's just really been a great program for us here at Scully Welsh. And when Sarah Taylor introduced the Sugar Bloom program, we not only to give it to our patients who are newly diagnosed with cancer, we also give it to our patients who come in with the stress look or sadness. So once we provide them with the orchids, it brings tears and joy because they feel like someone cares. And this program has been an outstanding program for our patients and it just gives them a smile. Um, not everything has to be um, sadness, especially when you come into the cancer center. So we're very grateful for this program. By gifting them this orchid um, from Sugar Bloom, it shows um, the family's appreciation and also our appreciation that they were able to um, have their care here at the Cancer Center. So it's a really good thing to have here. We've had such a great collaboration with the Sugar Bloom Foundation because our cancer patients, when they're newly diagnosed with cancer, it's an extremely stressful part of their lives. And by giving a patient an orchid at their time of new diagnosis, it symbolizes hope and the fact that we are all here together to support them during their cancer journey. 
To learn more and to donate, please check out our website.